Evidence of Tad Moselle's professional success can be found hanging on the wall here at Heritage Heights. As for his personal impact, you'll find that just on the other side, in Tad's place. The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. He never saw the building to fruition because he passed away before 2012. But when you hear these personal stories about Tad, the first thing you go is, they're genuine. These people loved this man. A longtime resident, Tad loved Havenwood Heritage Heights. His $100,000 gift allowed for the creation of this space. This is amazing. This is the best thing ever. We do stuff on the stage. We have university classes in here. We have singing groups in here. So it is so great that we have this place instead of the Barrows dining room, which was what was our activity space before. This rededication of Tad's Place was the first large post-COVID gathering, a celebration not only of community, but also of generosity. A new brick walkway memorializes gifts like that made by Val Nair McLean, which will ensure Tad's Place will always be ready for the next act. Tad, I had met him myself because I'd visit my mother, and he lived in the same quadrangle as my mother did, so I feel that this brings a little bit of her connection in with me. Just to build a special reserve and replacement fund allows anything in this building that breaks to be repaired almost immediately and not compete with the capital budget of the organization. I think Tad is looking down on all of us and I think he's just so ecstatic about what we're doing here the generosity of so many people. We have a show we're working on for July. So many of our resident activities are just picking back up again. So it's just fantastic. This place is the greatest thing ever. You know,